I have to say walking up into the Parthenon for the first time exceeded all my expectations. It was really an awesome experience. The place immediately overwhelming. I was actually surprised by it. We usually see it from afar, but being surrounded by it, walking between the ancient columns, seeing close up the work of the artisans, took one back in time. It could almost be described as a religious experience. It went beyond the senses, and the degree of the impact was unexpected. Right up in Athens, on the Parthenon, the Acropolis. The history of this place? Quite extraordinary. Like many Greek temples, it initially served as the city treasury. In the final decade of the 6th century AD, it was converted into a Christian church dedicated to the Virgin Mary. This is the old temple of Athena, who was the patron deity of Athens. This old temple of Athena is adjacent to the Parthenon. which was being renovated at the time we visited. The Acropolis afforded great views of the sanctuary of Dionysus and the theatres below. From this viewpoint, the extent of the theatre of Dionysus can be appreciated. It covered the whole hillside behind it. Thus the estimated 17,000 capacity. As a result of the Ottoman conquest, the Parthenon was turned into a mosque in the early 1460s. Then in 1687, an Ottoman ammunition dump that was actually put inside the building was ignited by a Venetian bombardment during their siege of the Acropolis. This explosion severely damaged the Parthenon and its sculptures especially the central portion. So, after a fascinating close-up look at this legendary structure, it's time to return to the ship. One last shot. So we used our day ticket to get the metro to the bus. And back to the ship. Within minutes we were showered and having dinner as we sailed away through the Aegean in the Glass House restaurant where we cooked a steak on our table on a hot stone. And enjoyed a typical Aegean sunset, 
sailing through the Greek islands. And even as I edit the film, I feel nostalgic. What an experience. Where next? The Greek island of Zakynthos, which the Venetians colonized and ruled for 300 years. They called it the Flower of the Levant, the ancient name for the Eastern Med, where Ulysses conquered and about which Homer wrote.